In this lecture, we're going to discuss heart valves and their functions. Valves are structures made of cusps that prevent blood from flowing backwards. Please note that cusps are like flaps, sometimes also referred to as leaflets. There are two types of valves found in the heart. The first set of valves are what we call the atrioventricular valves. The reason why we call them atrioventricular valves is because these are the valves that are found between the atria and the ventricles. The second type of valves found in the heart are what we call semilunar valves. Semilunar valves are the valves found between the ventricles and the major blood vessels that exit the heart, such as the aorta and the pulmonary trunk. Let's take a closer look at the atrioventricular valves. There are two atrioventricular valves found in the heart. The first valve is called the tricuspid valve. The tricuspid valve is found between the right atrium and the right ventricle and its function is to prevent oxygen-poor blood found in the right ventricle from flowing back up into the right atrium. The second atrioventricular valve is called the bicuspid or mitral valve. The bicuspid valve is found between the left atrium and the left ventricle, and its function is to prevent oxygen-rich blood in the left ventricle from flowing back up into the left atrium. Students always ask, how do you remember the difference between the tricuspid and the bicuspid valve? other than that the tricuspid valve has three flaps and the bicuspid valve has two flaps. How do you remember which side which valve is on? The way that I tell students is that tricuspid, T-R-I, has the letters R-I in it, which means that it is on the right side. And by default, the bicuspid valve would be on the left. In a previous lecture, we talked about a couple of structures that would be associated with atrioventricular valves. The first structure were papillary muscles, which extended from the walls of the ventricles. And the second structure were chordae tendinae, or the heart strings. Next, we're going to take a closer look at the semilunar valves. There are two semilunar valves found within the heart. The first valve is called the pulmonary semilunar valve. The pulmonary semilunar valve is a valve found between the right ventricle and the pulmonary trunk. And the function of the pulmonary semilunar valve is to prevent oxygen-poor blood found within the pulmonary trunk from flowing back into the right ventricle. The second type of semilunar valve is called the aortic semilunar valve. The aortic semilunar valve is found between the left ventricle and the aorta. The function of the aortic semilunar valve is to prevent oxygen-rich blood found within the aorta from flowing back into the left ventricle. So how do valves work? How do they keep blood flowing in one direction and prevent blood from flowing backwards? First, let's take a look at the atrioventricular valves. Remember, atrioventricular valves are the valves found between the atria and the ventricles. The cusps of atrioventricular valves are attached to chordae tendinae, which are attached to papillary muscles, which are attached to the inner wall of the ventricles. When an action potential passes into the ventricular walls, it also passes to the papillary muscles, causing papillary muscles to contract. When papillary muscles contract, they pull on the chordae tendinae, which pulls on the cusps of the atrioventricular valves, which in essence closes the valves and prevents blood from flowing back into the atria. Next, we're going to take a look at how semilunar valves work. Remember, semilunar valves are found between the ventricles and the major blood vessels that exit the heart, the aorta, and the pulmonary trunk. Unlike atrioventricular valves, there are no chordae tendinae or papillary muscles that will help close the cusps of the valves. So how do aortic semilunar valves close? Answer, it uses blood and gravity. When ventricles relax after contraction, the blood that was forced through the aorta and the pulmonary trunk settles. As the blood settles due to gravity, the blood pools behind the cusps of the valves, forcing them to close. The closing of the valves prevents blood from flowing back into the ventricles.